Mimosas are often overlooked, but these tiny plants can add beauty to your backyard. Yes, mosses are plants, but they are a simple form. They stay small because they lack the vascular tissue that lets higher plants carry water and nutrients up the stem. Also, they do not form complex seeds, but instead release tiny spores as small as dust. If you look with a magnifying glass, you can see that moss is really a plant. Each tiny green thread is made up of leaves only one cell thick, attached to a tiny stem. The entire plant is designed to hold water, which is why live moss is always moist. Dry moss, however, isn't necessarily dead moss. Moss can dry up and remain dormant for years. There are even desert mosses patiently waiting for the next chance rainfall. Do you see these tiny caps projecting from the moss? That is the sporophyte. And when ready, they will open up and release the spores inside into the wind. Now most of these spores fall directly to the ground, but some get sucked up into the atmosphere and distributed worldwide. Some people think that mosses can kill grass, but this is rarely the case. Usually mosses are the pioneer plants, able to grow in areas where larger plants cannot. So if you have moss in your yard, it probably means your yard isn't well suited for grass. If you have a moist, shady spot in your backyard, you might consider turning it into a moss garden. You could transplant your moss from somewhere else or grow your own. To grow moss, all you need is stale beer or buttermilk and a blender. This moss smoothie isn't too tasty, but it's filled with tiny pieces of moss leaves, each which can grow into a new plant. Pour the mixture over some nice moist soil or even rocks and gently mist it for a few weeks until the moss takes hold. Ta-da! Instant plants. Mosses are like the sea monkeys in the plant world.